Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we're in Laos, the People's Democratic Republic of Laos. We're in Dien Dien in the National Moy Lao Boxing Stadium. We're learning Moy Lao. Muay Lao is a traditional kickboxing art similar to Muay Thai in Thailand or Brat Al Saray in Cambodia. Muay Lao utilizes kicks, punches, knees, elbows, stand-up grappling and throwing. In a typical training day, a fighter will do running for cardio. Some fighters jump rope. I don't. I don't like to jump. Uh, we work the bag, there's several different kinds of bags you'll see in the video, and then we do pad work. Pad work is very important because it's an opportunity for the coach to help us work on our form and give us instructions on how we can improve. <laughs> Lifting weights and building upper body strength is pretty important for wrestling or boxing, but when it gets to kickboxing, it just doesn't help that much. But look at this guy, he's about 48 kilos and he can kick five times harder than I can. And I weigh 93 kilos. <laughs> Throwing a kick or throwing a knee is essentially the same technique. You've got to get your entire body into it. Your hip has to really twist into it, which is what they're trying to get me to do here. Having big muscles doesn't help. What helps is using the right body mechanics. And with that, this kid can knee, I mean, a million times harder than I can. And you look how small he is, but it's because he's doing the technique properly. And it's amazing how counterintuitive that technique is for a Westerner. One of the problems with practicing the knee or any of these techniques is that you start getting tired and the tired you get, the less likely you are to do it properly. The knee doesn't come up as high, you're not able to keep your balance, you just, you just get tired and slow. When you come in to do a knee on an opponent, you want to put your hands out straight in front of you, you want to touch your opponent, you want to feel that he's there, but you don't want to grab him and hang on him. This way you can keep your distance, you have to have a certain amount of distance to get a good solid knee in there. And the other thing is that you have to learn to defend the knee, so if you see here, uh, my Russian partner is using one hand up and one hand down, but he's not grabbing me and he's not pushing me. He's just kind of absorbing the power. And of course, he's telling me how to throw the knee properly because I'm doing it improperly again. It's not just that I look stupid when I'm doing this, I also feel pretty stupid. I'm like, coach, please put me back on a bag, something I understand. Working the knees on the bag, you want to watch out that you don't just get into a dance routine, alright? I'm starting to look like Michael Jackson over here. And that's got nothing to do with fighting. So the coach is about to step in and uh, yell at me. When you're training for Moi Lao or any fighting art, you want to use a ring timer. You want to divide your workout into rounds. So, for example, two minutes on and one minute off, or three minutes on and one minute off. Two minutes is standard for Muay Thai and 40 minutes for boxing. You want to break your workout into rounds and decide how many rounds will I do of just knees on the bag? How many rounds will I do of pad work? How many rounds will I do of just uppercuts, of just high kicks, of just low kicks? When you look at all the different weapons and techniques that are available to your disposal, you could probably, just by doing one round of each, probably do about 15 rounds, which is probably way more than what you can do if you're not in shape yet. My goal in life is to be half as good as an 18 year old loud kid who weighs 40 kilos. On the kick in Moy Lao, you want to make sure that you're up on the balls of your base foot 
You wanna make sure that your base knee and your base leg are turning, twisting into the kick. Your hips gotta be completely open and you're supposed to be swinging your leg like a baseball bat. Now when I do it, you'll see a little interference from say Taekwondo in my kick. Grappling, stand up grappling is an integral part of Moi Lao. Whoever gets the both hands on the inside gets the dominant position. to each other when you're doing the neck wrestling or you're gonna get knocked down. I'm gonna get knocked down anyway. The goal is to get dominant position then throw the guy off balance. These guys have incredible balance. Alright, I'm Antonio Graceffo, we're in BNTN, we're learning Moy Lao, this martial arts odyssey. Get in the gym, do your sets, do your reps, do your road work. We'll see you next time.